Welcome guys to Talking Wrestling Episode 3 with your boy Kevin Does It All. So guys, it has been a good week. Uh, today is Friday Night Smackdown. Uh, so yeah, we have some big matches. We have like Rhea Ripley and Charlotte face to face. We have like a six man tag team match in Perry versus Mad Cat Moss. And two other guys I forgot. We got Karen Crush vs. Rey Mysterio Part 2. And some more things in Raw, uh, SmackDown following the Elimination Chamber. So which I can't wait. So can't wait for SmackDown. But welcome to Episode 3 of this new like podcast, I guess, or series I'm doing. Talking wrestling every week. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. It's going to be a good one. And there's a lot of good news that happened this week. Ooh, here we go, guys. Alright, so... Probably the biggest thing is a rumor, obviously, but if this happens, oh my god, it's going to change the, the freaking world, the WWE world forever, and that is, WWE is looking to sign a freaking big, a freaking big, like, what's it called, a free agent, they want to sign a free agent, I forgot my, I was going to say a legend, but this dude is a legend in the game, if you want, some would say that, they want to sign a free agent that is bigger than Jay White, and there's not that many, and that one person is Kenny Omega, guys, can you believe it, Kenny Omega could be going to WWE, his AEW contract expiring soon, I believe, this is just a rumor, bro, imagine, it was just confirmed earlier today, uh, that that's the agent they want, that's the biggest agent they could find, obviously, and they're trying to get him, and I wish... I really hope, imagine the dream, I already said this I think, or that was for Jay White, but imagine the dream matches with Kenny Omega, imagine if they sign both, oh my goodness, I don't think AEW will like, if they get CM Punk, that's a huge dub for AEW, but I, I think if Kenny Omega and Jay White go to WWE, that's the Bullet Club reunited, I think all of them, if Jay White brings his friends with him, oh my gosh, WWE is looking, hopefully, if those two come, that will be the biggest probably WWE and ever. Like, this year might be the biggest WWE ever if Kenny Omega and Jay White. Even if just Kenny Omega, oh my. Even Jay White. Like, so many possibilities. Dream matches with AJ Styles, Finn Balor. You already know Randy Orton, Jay White. You know, the you know Randy Orton, Jay White. That would be a dream match, you know. Uh, So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of dream matches. But, yeah, Kenny Omega might go to WWE. Might. And that. That's a small possibility, but like, we'll just have to see in a few months. I don't know when exactly his uh contract expires, but Kenny Omega and WWE sign me up. Let's go. Maybe a triple threat match for the WWE Championship and WrestleMania 40. Kenny Omega, Jay White, and what the heck, AJ, or a Final Four Way, AJ Styles and Finn Balor. Final Four Way, AJ Styles, Finn Balor, Jay White, and Kenny Omega. Imagine that dream match. I can't wait to see if Kenny Omega hopefully signs. Sorry, the light is. There's a lot of light. But yeah. Who will just have to wait and see in a few months. Maybe he'll like debut after Mania. If he still has to sign. Like there's going to be a lot of rumors like how they did with Cody Rhodes. I, don't think I wish it would happen like Cody Rhodes. Like Seth, someone like Seth or AJ will have like a mystery opponent. And it'll be Kenny or Jay White. Who knows. But if just if one of them signs with WWE. That will change the game forever. they will be for sure future WWE champions. And for sure like a year or two. So yeah. That's the first breaking news. Next, uh, some ratings got revealed. Uh, like some, uh, I saw the up, up, down, down, the full stream. I literally just finished watching it in my couch. Uh, some ratings I can remember in my top of head, which are not deserved. Like Chad Gable, 77. What the heck? Otis is 80. He's supposed to be like the student. And Chad Gable, 77. Last year, he was 76. 77 this year. Have you seen what he just did? He freaking picked up, who was it? Was it Omos? No, it wasn't Omos. He freaking picked up a giant. It might have been Omos. Like, he, he's literally one of the underrated superstars in the roster. I I really think he would, like, have a good championship, like, opportunity with the U.S. or the Intercontinental Championship of that. He, he Like, honestly, he's underrated. Like, I could go on and on about Chad Gobble. He's freaking athletic. He has the, like, he could be with Kurt Angle. If Kurt Angle... Could have been his manager. He's for sure. Could even be like a future world champion. I'm just saying it. But he's underrated. 77 is too low for him. I would have gone with like probably 82. 
I think that's a little bit low. Like, this year was a good year for him. Like, and Otis, too. Don't get me wrong. I like Otis, but I think he should have been, like, an 81 at least. But, yep, yeah, WWE. I mean, I know it's just a game, but, like, I'm still going to be using him. But, like, 77, I don't know. Should have been in the 80s for sure. But it is what it is. Some under. I feel like Rio Ripley should have now gotten 87, like Finn Balor. I think he should have. She should have gotten, like, 90. Because, like. I mean, this year, for sure, she'll get out if she wins the SmackDown Women's Championship. Maybe, like, an 89 would have done it. But, yeah. And also, Finn Balor should have gotten, like, a 90 for sure. Like, even though he hasn't done that much, but, yeah. And also, some well-deserved Randy Orton 93. Let's go! Randy Orton. He just posted on his Instagram, I believe. I literally just saw it an hour ago. Uh, Randy Orton is a 93. Let's freaking go. It looks good on him. Like, his picture looks good, like, with the mustache. Oh, I love him, bro. I want him back. Randy Orton, I want you back. Please, after Mania. Because I don't think he's going to... There's six weeks to Mania. I don't think he's going to return before, like, to Lito. Because Riddle has to return, too. Because I think that's the only match Randy Orton could possibly have at Mania. So, hopefully after Mania. Because I don't want him to return until, like, SummerSlam. Because they're already making boots for him. So, yeah, Randy Orton, 93. Some other... Dominic, 77 or 78. It's too low, man. Too low. Especially, like, with this gel thing. Like, he's funnier. Like, he's gotten pretty good in the ring. Like, he's literally with a new faction. He's, like, against his dad. And a 78 or 77. Like, in the 70s. I think he should be, like, 83, honestly. Or 82. Like, up there with Judgment. Even though, like, he's a Mr. Young. But it doesn't matter. Like, he's... It doesn't matter. But, like, he's go. Oh, he's not a go. Why did I just say that? Oh, my God. But, like, he's proven himself a little bit. He's good in the ring. And I just say, I'm just saying he could have gone like an 80, at least in the 80s for sure. But, yep, for sure next year, hopefully he'll be like 83, who knows. But, I think Rey Mysterio, 82, is that what his rating was? I don't know. I saw a comment, someone, 82, but come on, I feel like he deserved like 88 at least, or 90. But definitely, I know, he's a literally a legend right now. Like, it doesn't matter what they give him, he should be a legend already, but yeah. So, yeah, those are some ratings, some other ratings. Cody Rhodes, 91. I feel like he should have gone, like, 94, 93. But, you know, it is what it is. That's a good rating. Drew McIntyre, 91, too. Uh, who else? Uh, Randy Orton, 93. Roman Reigns, I believe, is rumored to have a 99 rating. Oh, my goodness. That would be the first one in, in any game, 99 rating. Oh, my goodness. If he does that, no. even a 98 is crazy. That's... 96 for Becky Lynch, well deserved. I feel, I think 95 for Bianca. I feel like they should have tied like 96 Bianca, 96 Becky, but just 96 Becky. 95 Bianca still freaking good, uh, but I think Becky made history, the first ever women's rating over 95 or any over 94. I think Charlotte Flair's, I think 94, 93. Okay, she was gone a little bit, but yeah. I don't know what Bray Wyatt's rating is. Like I said, it just showed a little bit up. The, I doubt they're going to do the whole rating. I was like, guess. I don't know what John Cena's rating is. But I feel like it should be like 93, 94. About, around there. But, and yeah, Brock is rumored to be higher than Becky Lynch. So I think she, he'll be 97 and then 98 Roman. Or 98 Brock and 99 Roman. I feel like John Cena should be in the top five for sure. But yeah, those are some ratings. So next, next thing to talk about. So... Fantasy booking WrestleMania 39. Here we go. So we already have Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul, pretty much confirmed. We already have uh John Cena versus Zary. John Cena is coming back, by the way. Let's go, John Cena is coming back. Right now, of course, we'll talk about Raw. You know what? Let's talk about Raw. Now let's talk about SmackDown. Oh wait, Elimination Chamber. We're supposed to be talking about Elimination Chamber. My bad, guys. So, what was I gonna say before this? Oh, fan I'll wait till the end. So, guys, wait for the end for my fantasy book in WrestleMania 39. It's not going to be the whole thing. Or maybe it will. Find out at the end. So, right now, let's talk about SmackDown before Elimination Chamber. Sami Zayn coming out with that pop. Oh, world, world Apart Dean returns. Let's go. What a freaking pop. Um, I don't care. Like, some people were saying they should have saved for Elimination Chamber. It doesn't matter. Uh, Freaking pop from Montreal. On SmackDown, what a pride. And he just said, I'm going to finish the story, basically. And he said, Roman Reigns is going down tomorrow. And that, free, like, the way he said the drop mic, oh, my goodness. And then, elimination comes. 
So I'm not just gonna talk about the Roman. So the whole elimination chamber. But what a it was a like straight to the point promo. But what a pop! I'm just gonna talk about that. What a pop from Sammy. Well deserved. And now elimination chamber 2023. Oscar wins the chamber. Well deserved. MVP of the match for sure was Liv Morgan. Everyone did like everyone showed out. Like Carmelo was final too. I wish it was Liv Morgan and Oscar, but it is what it is. Carmelo. Uh, was pretty good. Like she returned barely, and she's doing good. This time she's doing good. So props to her. Raquel Gonzalez was dominant. Last three also. Uh, Liv Morgan MVP. Like I said, like that freaking sunset flip power bomb from the pod onto Raquel. I believe that was an incredible move. Um, uh, some a lot of spots like the Raquel. I think drove Carmella into the pod, or she drove someone. I think it was Nikki Cross actually. Nikki Cross did good. Like she she was just crazy, but she did good. Uh, everyone did good, like, but at the end, Oscar, you know, she got the Oscar lock on Carmella, or the elbow thing on Carmella, and she, she tapped out, Carmella tapped out, and Oscar is going to face Bianca, which I can't wait for that, it's gonna be a banger, so yeah, Oscar wins, incredible match, probably sec, might have been a, I was like, a little bit there with the, cha the men's chamber match, I think this might have been a little bit good, but nah, I think the men's chamber took it for this one, but Oscar wins, let's go, I can't wait to see. The match against Bianca at WrestleMania 39. Next match was, I believe, Brock versus Bobby. <sighs> bullshit. It's just bullshit. Oh, like the match was good. Like you know, a lot. It was decent until the end, obviously. Like you know, spear, spear, F5, F5, barricades. I think always the freaking barricades with these two. Like come on, announce tables, referees down. But a low blow finished it at the end. Come on, he should have at least reversed it and like done an F5 and then there. That would have been a good ending, but no. Now I believe it's Bray Wyatt versus Bobby Lashley. I don't want to see. I want to see Bray Wyatt versus Bo uh, Brock Lesnar. Bray versus Brock would have been a good match. I think that would have been a dream match for a lot of people. For me too, so yeah. But at the end, Bobby won by via disqualification from Brock Lesnar. And then Brock went crazy on the ref. He f 5 them on the on the ring. And then F5 them on the announce table, and then of course attack Bobby. Uh, I thought it's not. I think it, I'm thinking it's not over. Maybe until SummerSlam. But honestly, I'm done with the shoot. <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. Bobby wins, so I think he's gonna go against Bray Wyatt. I don't know. And now, the match after, I believe, was a mixed mixed max tag team match. Pretty good match. Pretty. Darn, darn good match, you know, Rhea and Beth practically carried the match, you know, they carried, uh, Rhea Ripley freaking carried Edge, both power bombs on Finn and Edge, they showed out, Spear, I think, from Beth to Rhea, and then they did, like, a. there's a lot of people that could come back to WWE, which will make WWE, because I'm talking about this because FTR might return to WWE, because they did, like, a. I think they've used this before, but, uh, Shatter Machine, I think it was, uh, to finish the match. Edge and Beth, they used the Shatter Machine, so that was a pretty good match. Uh, but yeah, they finished, and Edge and Beth won. Uh, of course, they didn't pin Rhea, because they're trying to protect her for WrestleMania against Charlotte. Uh, and yeah, Edge and Beth Phoenix uh, won. Not too much to talk about it. I, I thought Ray Mysterio was going to come out, but yeah, they also, they asked, they freaking said, F you, Dominic, that was freaking Hilarious. Hilarious. They're freaking going on Dominic. Dominic is doing a good heel, which is I also I think he should be up in the ratings. But it is what it is. Edge and Beth win. Pretty good match. Now, the men's chamber match. Oh my goodness. Montez. Oh, Montez Ford. Where do I even begin? Future world champ. I'm saying the world champion for sure. United States Inter Grand Slam champion if you want. Oh my goodness. Give it out to Montez Ford, guys. Like, oh my goodness. Alright, so where do I even begin? Like, he just showed out, like, since he got out of the chamber. That freaking drop, when he dropped from the chamber pod, that moment kind of solidified his freaking career. And then, obviously, the curb stop, like, and then the people just, and even though it was a distraction for Logan Paul to get in the pod, which we'll get into a little bit, into the chamber, I mean. um, Just a freaking good thing they, like, Ovation for him. That that was a good pop for him. Well deserved, and I hope I kind of hope Angelo turns on him soon, cause I want to see Mont. Maybe I don't know. If I want to see Montez as a heel, but now 
Uh, I don't think so. Maybe later in his career when he's won titles. But I want to see, like, Angelo for Montez. And, you know, I want Montez to go on his own. Maybe they don't have to split up. Like, do, they do, like, a new day thing how they did back in the day when Biggie wanted to, I think, split or something like that. Yeah, maybe Angelo could win. For sure, Angelo has no no discredit to Angelo. He's freaking great. But I think Montez Ford is a future star from them, too. Angelo could be a future star, you know, you two, them, too. But I think Montez Ford for sure has a lot to give still. And also, second MVP of the night uh, for that match, Johnny Gargano. That freaking hurricane run or whatever it was from the pod. That literally, like, Priest, I think, forgot to ca- catch him. That w- that could have ended badly. But, yeah, that was a pretty, probably the second best spot. And then <laughs> the funniest part was when Seth be- came behind Derry. <laughs> he just opened the pod and he's like, and then they just started beating him up inside the chamber. That was funny with Johnny Gargano. That was pretty funny. But, yeah. A lot of people, like, Bronson Reed, they made him look dominant. A lot of finish to him to end it. So, that was a pretty good way to, like, finish him off. They made him look strong, as they should. And then, also, pre showed out. He, I didn't like the way he eliminated Johnny Gargano. Like, rip to Scott Hall with the eraser's edge. But, I feel like Johnny should have kicked out. Maybe, like, maybe ate a curb stop. And that's how they should have, like, ended him. But, it is, I really wanted Johnny Gargano to win. But, for sure, future U.S. champion, inter world champion. There's a lot of world championship uh, players in this match. Like Montez, Johnny Gargano. Seth Rollins is going to be a future world champion soon. Even though he already won it. I feel he should have been in the WrestleMania main event. I don't know. But yeah, anyways. Seth Rollins was did good. But now, Logan Paul. When Montez Ford was getting his flowers. Logan Paul. The pa- that was. I thought he was kind of injured. But no. I realized they just did it for Logan Paul. To do a bucket. Larry shot. On Logan Paul and then a freaking curb stop. And then Austin Derry 8 times down and retained. So it is confirmed. Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul. At WrestleMania 39. Which I can't wait. That's probably going to be match of the night. For whatever night that is. Night Saturday or WrestleMania Sunday. Who I don't know. Maybe, actually not WrestleMania Saturday. I think that will be Cody and Roman. But yeah. I can't wait guys. Ooh. So yeah. That's what the elimination chamber. And now the main event. Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn. Where do I begin? So. Roman Reigns. Is booed out of the building. Boo, boo. He comes out first, obviously. Boo. And then Sammy Zayn with a huge pop from his Montreal. With his girlfriend, his her son, or uh, daughters. I don't know, son, his father watching. Oh, his family there. It was incredible ovation for Sammy Zay. Well deserved. And of course, booing. And I saw the side of Sammy loses. We riot. They didn't riot. They should have been throwing things at Roman. Not like anything damaged. Because I like I, lo- I love Roman. But like, you know, throwing like paper. I don't know. Like apple juice. Whatever. Madison's. I don't know. Chairs. Nah, I'm playing church. But yeah. Like, it wasn't like obviously like hardcore ECW. Because I was like, it's called ECW. You know, they're going to extreme. But yeah, it's WWE. I love the match was incredible. Match of the night for sure. Uh, right now I'll list the matches in order from best to least. For sure, least bro- is Brock and Bobby. Like, no debate. Anyways, uh, yeah. So the match started. Uh, I'm just gonna how the match went. So at the ending moments, Roman or oh, Sammy did a Superman punch on him and then the Kaluva kick. One, two, and that moment I thought Sammy was gonna win, but no, Roman kicked out like. Those freaking close moments, I my heart was going, and then Jay Uso, the main Jay Uso came in. I was freaking, my heart was, it was popping up my chest because Jay Uso was in the middle, literally just in the middle of Roman and Sammy. Sammy was down, and then Roman was gonna hit him with the chair on Sammy, but then he gave it to Jay Uso, and when he went behind Roman, I thought, how can this dude be dumb three or four times, like. When someone goes in the back of Roman, you know they're going to hit him with the chair. But no. Jey Uso hesitated. Like, he looked like he wanted to do it. And I was ready, getting ready to pop when he hit him. But no. He didn't hit him. But then, Roman's shoving him. Shoving him. And I thought Jey was going to finally do it. He's going to punch or kick Roman in the balls or in the freaking head. I don't know. But then, Sami Zayn spears Jey Uso. No, I was going crazy. Why did he do that? Obviously, it's part of the storyline, whatever. But no. And then Roman just starts beating 
freaking uh Sami Zayn with the chairs and then spear one two three Roman retains. So yes, Roman retains, but I don't know what's gonna happen with Jey Uso. I don't know what's gonna happen. Like first, hopefully, hopefully something happens this uh today in SmackDown. It has to happen. Come on, but I think the storyline's gonna end with Sammy and Kevin Owens winning the tag titles from the Usos. And then I hopefully after that those uh Jey Uso could like shake the hands of Sammy and walk out. That's how I kind of want it to end. So yeah, that's how I really want it to end actually for Jey Uso because Jey Uso's ninety rating and eighty nine is Jimmy Uso. That's like we know he's a better Uso right now. Jimmy Uso was great. A little time ago. But now it's Jey Uso's time. I'm so glad that Jey Uso got his time. Like, like I would have thought Jey Uso was not even, like, a good superstar. But, like, I thought it was just going to be a tag team forever. But, no, he proved me wrong. He's a man of a player. He's a right-hand man. But now he could just go on his own. Like, he kind of cemented himself as a good superstar. As a great superstar. Not just, like, Roman's bodyguard or whatever. Like, he could go a one-on-one. -on -one. Like, Jim Jimmy Uso as well. But we haven't seen Jimmy Uso too. Like, as a subtle. He's always been with Jay. So, I would like to see him break off, like, my, the Street Profits. But, the like, the Street Profits are not brothers, brothers. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. For sure, Jay also could be a world champion. Like, the promos of him were good. Like, when, like, it all started with Ro uh, Roman. So, it could end with Jay at SummerSlam if Cody doesn't do it. With <coughs> Ugh. He is gonna do it. Sorry. Someone was telling me that he is gonna do it. I should, I should not have said that. My bad. So yeah, <clears throat> a little clip there. Kevin choking. Okay, also, all right. Uh, so yeah, that was the elimination chamber. Freaking pop. Sammy's in, and then Kevin Owens comes out. My bad, I forgot. Kevin Owens comes out, and then he lets, he lets Sammy Zayn do the hello kick to Roman, and then they get the ovation to Sammy Zayn. Great way to end elimination chamber, but now nah, I wanted him to with titles but it is what it is we we kind of knew he wasn't gonna win but just that feeling when he hit the hello kick but yeah we'll see what happens with jay Uso and smackdown today hopefully and i will just wait until me and you <laughs> but yeah and now monday night raw some good promos paul Heyman and cody rhodes paul Heyman, you know if he beats roman You'll have to make main event Royal Rumbles and WrestleManias and SummerSlam Money in the Bank. Basically saying like Cody Ross is gonna be a busy man if he wins the championship. So yeah, that was a pretty good done promo with Paul Heyman with the braids, whatever it's called. And Cody Rhodes just freaking pissed after Paul Heyman. Like, why is he getting on the business? Well, it's not his fault. I'm going against Roman Reigns. I'm not going to Paul Heyman. Like, why is he getting his nose in this freaking match, bro? Like Great promo. I don't know. I don't have exactly what they said, but like great promo from Paul Heyman. Obviously, like he's one of the greatest promos ever. Mike Talkers, whatever. But yeah, and some matches that have been there raw. Finn Balor attacked Edge after incredible Edge versus Derry match. First time ever match for the United States Championship. Imagine, just imagine, Edge would have won in Canada. Like they could have done the swerve, like Edge wins. Sorry, Edge wins and Edge vs Finn Balor are held in a cell match for the U U.S. title and Finn wins because I don't think Edge will have a long reign with the U.S. title if he did win. But nah, I think Austin Theory vs John Cena for the United States Champion for sure is happening. But yeah, a great match from Edge and Theory. But at the end, Finn Balor attacks Edge, and yeah, that was Raw. Basically, some other matches like was it even Becky Lynch in Raw. I don't even know. Seth Rollins was for sure in Raw. What did he do? I think he couldn't promo on Seth. Uh, oh, no. He fought. Who did he fight? I really forgot. I should have freaking wrote this down. Next week, for sure, I'll write everything that happened on Raw SmackDown. Uh, I don't know. I know he fought. Uh, he had a match. But, yeah. But it was a pretty good Raw. If I would remember, then I, I would have been talking about it more. But... Mainly the most important thing was those two things, Cody and Paul. Oh yeah, how can I forget this? You you're about to go crazy. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, the promo. Oh, that was a pretty good promo. How can I forget about that? I think they started the show. All right, so Sami Zayn basically said he, I couldn't do it yesterday on Liberation or two days ago Liberation Chamber, and Kevin Owens didn't either. So he called Kevin Owens to win. There's one thing I want to say to this man. He says, I didn't finish the story, and neither did you. But let's finish the story together. Something like that he said. And that 
that was a pretty darn good line. And Kevin Owens at the end said, no. Just like how I said in November. I am finished with you. And he said, how about you go ask your buddy Jay for help? Oh, my. I lost it. 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 Oh, my God. That was bars. Bars. How about you go say it to your buddy Jay? About to get that right hand main. Anyways, uh, yeah, pretty darn good line. But now, right now, it looks like Sammy and Kevin are not gonna be together. It looks like Kevin wants nothing to do with Sammy, but it's part of the story. And hopefully, we'll see those. Those I don't want. I wanted Sammy on the triple threat match, but it has to be Cody's time. So yeah, um, <clears throat> so yeah, that was basically raw. Pretty darn good promo. I can't wait to see what happens tonight. And there you go, have it, boys and girls. That that seems like episode with Tucker wrestling with me. Now it's time for the fantasy booking of WrestleMania 39. Huh. So. Where do we start? Seth vs. Logan Paul already happening. So I think some matches I would add into this fantasy booking would be. Bro this is fantasy booking. So these. Like it's a fantasy. I want to see this match. So I would ha change Brock from. I would change Brock vs. Omos. Because Omos also challenged Brock. What Brock except next week? Hopefully not. I don't want to see Brock vs. Omos. That's a waste, man. I want to see Brock vs. Bray, which will be in my fantasy book in WrestleMania 39. Omos was just not even be there to be honest. I would have a six man ladder match. I would have Johnny Gargano win the you or I would have someone like a Montez Ford maybe since he like he they'll do, do like a promo like he did such a good job. He'll have a US title before Mania against Derry. And on March 6th, actually, it's fantasy booking. So, this is when the fantasy booking starts for the title match. So, Montez Ford will have a uh, triple. Adam Pierce will come out saying, Oh, Montez Ford, you did a, such a good job. We'll give you a US title because you should. You were the MVP of the night. We'll give you a title shot at March 6th. Uh, it will be Montez Ford versus Austin there for the US title in the main event. Oh, John Cena hasn't come out. It's March 6th. This is when John Cena returns. But, no. Austin Derry is going for the eight town down. He's going like this, but then you hear dun, dun. John Cena's coming out, but no, he doesn't come out. Oh, he does come out actually. He <laughs> he's supposed to come out. Uh, and then Montez Ford freaking does like I don't know, like a Samoan drop, whatever. And then freaking does a splash. One, two, three. Montez Ford does it. And then there's gonna be a U.S. title line, uh, U.S. championship on the line in a ladder match. At WrestleMania 39, we'll add some superstars like Shinsuke Nakamura, Ricochet, we'll add some Damien Priest, even. A lot of superstars that can be in this match. Uh, Johnny Gargano for sure. Uh, Sport, obviously. Maybe uh, Angelo Dawkins too. Like, just to have the both Street Profits there. Uh, who else could be in that match? A little cheeky match. Mark Kamaz, maybe. There'll, that'll be a good opening match for night one of WrestleMania ladder match. That would be a fantasy buggy. Let Seth Logan Paul, who else? Bray vs. Brock. Bray vs. Uncle Howdy could have a good story into that. Who else? But nah, that's not my fantasy book. John Cena vs. Derry already. For no belt, which will make it better. Because I think if Derry and John Cena fight for the belt, that will make sure that Austin Derry wins, kind of. So yeah. What else? Some obviously Roman, Cody, and I'll, set, I'll add Sammy into that match. For sure. And then we'll have the women's tag team titles. I'll have Triple Threat, Ronda, and Shayna versus the Trish and Lita versus Damage Control. Becky versus Bailey in an I Quit match. Edge versus Demon Finn Balor in a Hell in a Cell match. Intercontinental Championship Triple Threat match. Sheamus, Gunther, and Drew McIntyre. What other matches? One on one matches. I'll have like a. What will be? I mean, I'm pretty. I'm pretty good with the one v one matches. Like, bro, we already have Brock, Seth, Logan Paul, you know. I think that's good. Title matches, what else am I? Oh, the Raw. We already have Raw Women's Championship and SmackDown. Charlie vs. Oscar. I mean, Charlie vs. Uh, Rhea Ripley. I wouldn't change that. Unless Charlie wins. Nah, I'll freaking change that for sure. Uh, And then Bianca and Oscar. I will not change that for sure. Uh, And yeah, I think that's actually all the titles and all the 1v1 matches. Oh, Ray and first Dominic Mysterio. How can I forget about that, Ray? Career is on the line in my fantasy booking and he loses. <laughs> so yeah, those are my fantasy booking basically. 
Uh, what else? Oh, of course, the tag team title match versus uh, Sami and uh, Sami and KO for those who will main event night one in my in my fantasy booking. That will main event went. What am I saying? That will main event night one of WrestleMania Saturday, and then night two will obviously be the triple threat Roman, Cody, and Sami Zayn. Wait, so Sami's gonna be doing a two parter because I just made that up. Just... Yeah, Sami Zayn's gonna do it all. He's gonna win the. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this pod episode, guys. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Teddy Omega, please come to WZ. That was the best breaking news in this episode. That was the breaking news in this episode. Kenny Omega might sign with WWE. Fingers crossed, guys, when we'll see him soon. And hopefully he'll take the titles away from Roman Reigns. If he doesn't, if Cody doesn't do the job, but I think he will. So there you have it. Those were the Elimination Chamber uh, re recap. Uh, I forgot to rate the matches from... So Brock and Bobby look low. Then I think Edge and Beth versus Rhea and, and Finn Balor. And then maybe the women's elimination and then the men's and then Sammy and Roman. That's how I'll do it. Yeah. And the show would have been like a 9.9. 9, 9 out of 10. The, the whole pay-per-view. Pretty good darn show and pay-per-view. And I can't wait to see you at WrestleMania, guys. Hopefully enjoy. I'll see you next week. Hopefully SmackDown's great. And we do more things with the storyline of... You know, the bloodline and Sammy and Kevin Owens, all that. And Cody Rhodes, too. So, yeah, I can't wait. Can the dream finally be come? Wait, can the nightmare become a dream for Cody Rhodes? We'll find out at WrestleMania 39. I feel like it's like one week away. It's like six weeks away. We have time. But, yeah. Those are some ratings for WWE 2K23. Those are some recap of Elimination Chamber. And that's Raw. And SmackDown, and there you have it. That's that seems like a show to me. And I'm gonna eat this mandarin. See you. Bye. Peace out. Whoop. I hear your voice.